So we have got question 2 which is saying a box of mass M to be equal to 10 kg is pulled by an attached cord along a horizontal smooth which is frictionless surface of the, uh, of the table. The force exerted is Fp which is 40 newtons at an angle of 30 degrees as shown in the figure below. Now the question is we want to find the acceleration. Okay, so how do we tend to find the acceleration? Then the second question is asking us to find the upward, the magnitude of the upward normal force exerted by the table. So now, for us to find the acceleration, the summation of forces, this object is moving in x direction. The only force that is making the object to move, it is the applied force. But which applied force? Now this object or this force has been applied at an angle. When the force has been applied at an angle, so since this object is moving in x direction, I'm going to get the force, which is what the, the component of the force, which is the x component. So this force which you have here, we expect to have the Fp x. Then we also expect to have the Fp y. But in this case, this object is moving in y in x direction. So that's why I'm going to only focus on it. X. So I'm going to say the only force which is making the object to move is the uh, FPX. But in X direction, using Sokatoa, I'm going to replace that one with the FP cos theta. So since the object is moving, you replace this, the net force with mass times acceleration. So mass times acceleration, this is FP cos, cos theta, of which the theta is that. Divide both sides by M. M, A will be equal to Fp cos theta divided by M. Now I can plug in the values. So uh, Fp which is the force is 40 cos the theta is 80 divided by the M which is the mass which is 10. So if I do 40 cos 30 then I divide this by 10 giving me 3.46 meters per second squared. That is my acceleration in this case. Another question here is we need to find the normal force. Okay. Now we can clearly see that the normal force is perpendicular to the surface. So I'll have my normal force here. And the force which is uh, in the same line as normal force is weight force. Okay, the force that the object is exerting on the surface, that is what eh? the norm, uh, the weight force. So to find the normal force, since it is in y direction, I'll say the summation of forces in y direction. We have got eh? the forces that are pointing upward. We have got two, FPY and normal force. So they will carry positive. We'll say the normal force plus FPY. Then minus, since this guy is pointing downward, I'll say minus the weight force. Of which we know that the weight force, before we do that, this object is not moving in y direction. Therefore, this net force is zero. So it will be replaced by zero. N plus Fp is Fp sine theta because it is at an angle. Minus what is uh, weight force? Weight force is just mg. Now I'll shift this to the other side, meaning, or I can shift, okay, I'm going to shift M, G, then N, uh, not N because I want to find N, I'll shift um, FP sin theta to be equal to the normal force. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace the, the figures. The mass is 10, G is 9.8, the FP is 40 sin 30. That would be my normal force. So this is going to give me 98 minus 40 sin 30. Sin 30 is 0 0.5. So 40 sin 30 should be 20 to be equal to the normal force. So 20 98 minus 20 is 78. So we we'll have 78 newtons as my upward normal force. So now you realize that if I add the normal force, 
and the FPY, I should I should get the the weight force. It should be the same. So if I add 78 plus 90 or 20, it should be 98. So that the forces in y direction and x direction should be the same because the object is just moving in x direction. So that is it for this question.